all this stuff. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm Warwick Davis, and this is Harrison. And uh, sorry, one second. Um, okay, yep, yep, yeah. go on. Um, we are here to buy the ultimate gaming PC, and understand you're the experts. Uh, yeah, we are. Uh, we're a little bit short, uh, understaffed. Um, if you can just let me finish what I'm doing, that'd be great. Okay. He's busy. I'm a busy man. I ain't got all day to stand here and wait for him. Follow me. Warwick Davis waits for no one. We're going in. Harrison! Harrison! What are you Dude. doing? Come on! Shit. I like the disguises. Look at all this cool stuff. Yeah. Muzzy. The Muzzy Aeroetics. Do you want one of these, Harrison? Hey, do you know how to build a computer? Yeah. Just follow me. Okay. Right, I'm going to pick up all the bit and now how do we put this all these pieces together? Right, so this is probably the easiest bit, but also the most crucial bit. So we've obviously got main components here would be your memory. We've got an i7 CPU in here as well, and we've yeah. also got an M.2 drive for storage. Of course we have. And this is all gonna go into here, which is your motherboard. That's a ROG Maximus 11 Hero. Yes, it's a very good motherboard, if That's I can say so names. myself. Why is it called that? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds pretty good. Though, yeah, it is it very good. good. Uh, there's a lot, well, because there's a lot of different ranges of motherboards. Yep. Um, ROG are usually the top end from Asus, so we've got a really decent motherboard here. It's a good one, is it, H? I don't know. And then, really you're supposed that. to know. You're really <laughs> really know I'm expecting board. great things when this box opens. Yes. I, it, I, I'm <laughs> expecting the sound of heavenly angels. I can't promise you that. Well, let's see, shall we, okay. when it opens. Why is the box so big? Well, oh, we'll yes, see now. Look at that. I mean, that's a satisfying experience, just opening yes. the box. This, but these ones in particular, because you get to get a really nice view of these. Look at the way that the lid opens, and you see that, wow. and it's displayed in this plastic. Uh, first thing I usually do, uh, always, is the CPU. So we'll get this out here. In this box, we'll have... Not quite as impressive a box. Not quite as impressive a box. It is impressive. Yes. Uh, so we've got an mm -hmm. i7 in here. So this is a really decent CPU. Um, and then this is the, probably the most, I find it fairly easy, but it's, you've got to be quite careful with how you do it. So what, what, why do you have to be careful? Because uh, you don't want to bend any of the pins. So obviously if you bend any pins, you, you've broken your motherboard. Um, so that's the last thing we want to do. So you'll see on here, there's a gold sort of triangle. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so you sort of align that with the gold triangle on the motherboard and that's how you would know which way to put it up. And so you, you now line those pins up with the holes? Yeah. Or have you pushed it down already? Uh, it, we pushed it down already, but we still need to clamp it in. But you, and you're sure that's all, all the pins are in the right place? Positive. <laughs> it's very positive. Now we need to clamp it in place, so we yeah. push this clamp down and we'll push this down here. This will not be a satisfying sound. Um, Oof. And that's Oof. all that <laughs> that's was. That's a horrible sound. <laughs> yeah, horrible sound. But all that was is the plastic just popping off. Ah. Um, oh, so you don't need the door anymore now? No, once, once the CPU is in, uh, this will just pop off itself. Next thing you usually go for is the memory. So in this one, we'll go for the, we've got two sticks of RAM. So we'll use slots two and four, which is the primary memory slots. Um, so once we've got the memory in here, uh, we sort of line it up in the channels to make sure the pins are all in. And then you'll probably hear not another great sound, because uh, we'll have to push it down. So you'll see there's a clip here that's loose. And what we're looking for is when you push it down, that clip goes in. That was, that was, that was good, I like that yeah. sound. Yeah, that it, it's right. quite satisfying to do. Yeah. So we'll do that again on the second slot. Okay, so now we're moving on to the pipe bending part of the build. Pipe bending? Yes. Yeah. So with this being water cooling, we've obviously got pipes in it to let the water flow through the tubes to get to your components to cool them. Uh, I know you're asking me what 
the olive oil is for. Yeah, what uh, is that for? Now I'm going to show you. So we've got this form, which will essentially go inside the tube, so that when you do the bend, it keeps its form and doesn't kink. So did you have to train in plumbing to be able to build a computer? Uh, no, uh, luckily enough. But you'd be surprised there's a lot of people that who are plumbers that take up water cooling because it's sort of similar. Um, but I'll move this over here so I've got a little bit more so room. So this, what is this then here? So this is a bending kit. Uh, this is a very good one, so we're quite fortunate to have this. Um, and we'll see on this bit here that you've got loads of different degree of bends. So you've got 30 degree, 60, 90, and a 45 degree. Right. Commonly, it's mainly just 90s and 45s, but the beauty with this one is you can use multiple. Do um, so in this build, we're gonna do, it's all 90 degrees, so we're gonna do a 90 degree one here, okay. which thankfully is the easiest one as well. So we've got a heat gun here as well, and then we'll put it on the lowest setting just to get it, because you don't wanna have it too close. Yeah, you don't wanna ignite the olive oil. No, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Um, so and then you just heat it up. Now, now this is something you learn over time, how warm to get the uh, acrylic, is it? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, there's different materials that you can use, but with this one we're doing acrylic. Uh, we find it the most easiest to bend with, essentially. And then we'll just slowly wow. ease it around like so. And we hold it there. How easy is that? It is a little bit hot as well. So you'll see afterwards that it's got a, a nice bend in. Hopefully there's no kinks, we'll see. And how long does it take to cool enough to remove it? And it um, not very long, it cools down fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, but obviously with you holding it in place, you want it, want it to keep its shape essentially. Yeah. Because um, with the tube sort of being straight initially, it'll instantly sort of Wants go, back. go back. Exactly, yeah, that's why we hold it around the mm. sort of jig essentially. I'll just check here, yeah, no kinks in that one. So we'll just hold that there for a little bit longer. Six and a half hours later. Taking a while, isn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. Mm. Good. Good, good, good. <sighs> Are they still watching? You know what? Um, no offence, Ash, but this is getting a bit dull now, to be honest. Um, so, uh, Harrison, how about we go and find something more interesting to look at? And I've got the perfect thing. Okay. Very exciting, I promise. Yeah. Thank you, Ash. You just carry on. Enjoy okay. your little sticky things, and uh, we'll see you later. Thank you for everything. Okay. See ya. See you later. Okay, Harrison, I promise you something more exciting. This is it. The Epilogue Laser Fusion M2. Oh, yeah. You just watch this baby go. Okay. Bear with me. Just... There we go. What do you think of that? Just listen to that. That is the sound of laser etching. Hi, oh, Stephen. <clears throat> ah, hey. Busy all week, yeah. I've heard works here, mate. Warwick. Warwick Davies. Oh, Warwick, Warwick Davies. Davies. Yeah. The actor? Oh, the actor. He's been in films. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea what I'm on about, do you? Um, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. The guy you insulted 10 or 15 minutes ago. Oh, Harrison's, Harrison's dad. dad. Yeah. I was wondering if you could help me find him just to, you know, like meet him. It'd be quite cool. Movie star. Um, I'm a little bit busy, but feel free to ask... Somebody else, yeah. yeah. It's one of those weird days, mate, where it's just me and you. I suppose I have to help them. Yeah, probably. Come on. So where should we look first? Uh, where was the last place you saw him? Um, well, he was building in here. In here? Um, yeah, he was learning how to build a PC. Huh. From... So he was only building a PC, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he was here last time. Uh, I mean... I don't see him anywhere. Well, he's not going to be in the mug, is he? Well, I don't know. So if he's not in there, where else could he? The warehouse? Yeah, I suppose it's quite a big place and yeah, you could probably lose him in there. Well, he's in the warehouse, maybe. Yeah, he's going to be here somewhere. There's plenty of places to hide. There's a lot of boxes. Yeah, it could be in that box, maybe. Because this, this, this box? Yeah. No, not no. Box. Okay. 
To be honest, mate, I just can't believe you've lost Warwick Davies. I've lost them. That's it, be the bigger man. Uh, I mean, to be honest, what are we going to do? I mean, we still need to ship his PC, and what are the chances we just run into Harrison's PC? It says Harrison Davies' PC. <laughs> what are the odds? It's almost like we staged it. Uh, but it's for Harrison's birthday, though, so maybe we should send it to Warwick? Yes, we should. Have you got his address? Um, I can find it on Google. Brilliant, and I can find a pen. So, Warwick... Mr. Warwick's house. Warwick. Bring it oh, he lives in Warwick. That makes sense. His name is Warwick. He's in a big castle. Big castle? It. Yeah, there's a castle there called Warwick's Castle. Warwick's Castle makes sense. Warwick Castle, Warwick Shire. Yeah, that's right. it. Somebody else can do the rest. Let's go celebrate. Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Harris Gamer, and today I am unboxing my brand new PC. Oh yeah, let's crack into it. Hey, it's very cool. Now we're getting figure out a way to get this out of here. So, we've got it up on the counter now. Let's take these bags out. There it is. Coming to it up. Now I'm in it now, turn on the actual PC. Hey Overclockers, I just want to say thank you for watching the video and also I want to say thank you to Harrison and also Warwick uh, for just visiting and having fun. Uh, they came here, we showed them behind the scenes and we even built the PC together. Yeah, and talking about the PC, the Davies family have got dwarfism, so we decided to fit it with a remote control on off switch. Uh, along with the rest of customization, with this logo being etched, which is all what you guys can get, we didn't stop there and we decided to customise the Noble chairs. Yeah, so they both have noble chairs and the typical height is usually too high. So we adjusted the whole thing and we made it shorter for them so they can both sit comfortably. But not only that, we also put the logo on the back of the chair and that was just a nice touch. Yeah, so if you want to see Harrison's unboxing, you can find him on YouTube at Harrison X Gamer. And uh, that's all from us, so we'll see you next time. Bye.